Hello and welcome to Ellie Rose Party Designs. My name is Sam and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make Capri Sun labels in the Silhouette Studio software. And so in today's video I'm going to teach you exactly how you can make this to any theme, to any fonts, to any writing you want to have on your Capri Sun labels. So to find these templates, please check the description down below this video and it will take you directly to where you can purchase these templates from. Now what's great about these templates is they have helped lots of my students already make their own decorations and they are super quick and super easy to turn that birthday decoration table into this wow birthday table and decorations. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so to get started, you need to open up your Silhouette Studio software. Now, mine might look a little bit different to yours because I do have the Business Edition software. So, everything else that I'll be showing you will be exactly the same. So, okay, so once you have uh, downloaded your template, you just need to locate where you have saved it. And there is mine. It will come as a zip folder. All you need to do is right click and hit extract all and it's going to just open up that folder so you can then export those PNG files straight into your Silhouette Studio software. So let's just, there we go, it has just done it for me. And in the actual folder you're going to have your template and a basic mock-up that you can use as your um, for your designs to show your customers or your friends or your family whoever it is you're designing these for so all we're going to do now is let's just go back into here so you can either do two one or two things you can drag it straight into your blank canvas or we can make a folder for it in the library section so all i would do is right click here and hit new folder and that will make a new folder for you in your library all right now i've already got a folder that i have set up which is just over here called templates and that's where i'm going to go ahead and import my template so all i'm going to do is drag that and you'll see that it will change it to move and i'm going to click and drag it straight into there and the same thing as my mock-up. Click and drag that straight into there. Okay, very simple and very easy. Now, the next best thing we're gonna do is we're going to double click onto our template. So let's double click onto that. And voila, there is our template. Okay, so what I like to do is to first of all, make sure that my canvas that I'm working with is either an A4 size or in a, um, US letter size. So to do that, all we need to do is go on the right hand side here and we're going to open up our page setup panel and I'm going to make sure that the size is either a letter size, which is for US. So if we click onto that, it will bring it up as a US letter size. Or if you live in Australia like I do, you have it as an A4, which is this one here. Now, my templates, I have saved them as a US letter size only because I have most of my students and my customers live in the US. So I have it set as a US letter size, but you can always change it yourself by dragging and dropping it. Okay, so we're going to keep it as a US letter size for now. But once again, you change it to whatever your printer can actually print out. And we'll just leave everything else as is. Okay, so we just need to make sure that we are happy with everything else. Yep. All right, so now let's bring in our template, which is right there. Now, you kind of can't see it because you see how it's transparent. So what I like to do is just to be sure that everything is all in, I'm just going to make one big square box or rectangle box. And I'm just going to change the color to, say, black for now. Now, it would help if I actually keep it highlighted and hit black. There we go. All right, so now let's bring that in there by clicking, right-clicking, and let's bring that to the front. And let's just make sure that it's going to fit our entire canvas like so. There we go. All right, so it looks like it is a perfect fit. And now all we need to do is start designing. All right, so I think I'm going to be doing a B theme template i always seem to go to the b theme don't ask me why i just love the b theme so that's what we're going to do so i'm just going to go into my library and i'm going to scroll up to my b folder which is just over here there it is there okay and i've just got a few designs already in here all right so all you need to do is obviously drag in your digital paper and your clip art now remembering that try and use um, digital 
digital clip art that is a transparent background. If you don't know what all of that is, I will link down below this video all about clip arts that will be able to give you more answers to what is the difference between a PNG and a JPEG, etc. Okay, so feel free to check out that video. Now, let's just go back into our design. Now, I'm just going to smooth you over there. Now, what's great is that we have already made our little box. Okay, I'll just make sure it's completely covered like so. All right, and I'm gonna make sure that that is highlighted. Now, once again, this is my way of doing it. Doesn't mean it's the right way or the wrong way. I just, this is the way I do it. You can obviously do it however you want to, but I like doing it this way. Okay, so I just highlight my box and I'm gonna go into my library and here is my digital paper that I'm going to double click on. All right, and it's obviously gonna bring it up into a second um, folder, but we don't want that. We wanna go straight into our folder that we were using which is by clicking the top here and there it is there so now it's changed that black box because we highlighted it changed that black box into our digital paper that we are using all right so now when you drag this on top look at that we have now got it looking fabulous look at that okay so you've already got this awesome looking um, B theme Capri Sun labels. Alrighty, so now let's start bringing in some items that we want to use. Now I want to be using this um, honey jar, I want to be using um, this bee and also these little things. Okay, so I'm just going to double click onto you and bring you straight in. I'm just going to right click and bring that into here. Now don't ask me why it always brings it up into another folder. It's um, quite annoying. If anyone knows why, please let me know in the comment section below and if I can change that because for the life of me, I haven't managed to figure it out. Okay, so let's right click that, cut you and bring you straight into here. Uh, let's drag you to the side and let's bring in our little beautiful B. Right click that, cut and bring you in. Now I've already got it there because I had it highlighted and I shouldn't have. So let's just go and delete you. Sorry, I'm going a bit all over the place here. Let's just go back into our library and double click onto our little dots. Right click, cut and paste. And there are all our goodies there, all right. So let's just close that so we can work on a nice clean canvas. And I'm just going to go further out. And I'm just going to make these a lot more smaller. All right, there's one. Okay, and dragging you down. And then this one here, I need to redo because it, because um, I had that highlighted, it brought that up. So let's just go back in and right click that. Go cut and paste. All right, and there it is there. All right, so now all we need to do is to add these little goodies into our into our template. So what I would like to have on my labels is just happy fifth birthday, then the child's name, and then a decoration. Just something simple, but still looks pretty cute. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's just bring in what our font's going to be. So let's go here and I should have already got a font that I'm wanting to use which is this one here. Okay and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in capital letters happy. Now it's already got the black because I have it set over here as black. Okay. Happy fifth birthday Ellie now I'm going to highlight all of that and I'm going to center it like so and then I'm also wanting to put a um, an offset around it and by doing that all we need to do is click over here which is like a star and that is your offset button all right and I'm going to change that to 0 0.080 and hit enter and then I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to change the color to white and I'm wanting the background to also be white. All right. 
Now, just going back to our black, which is this one here, I'm wanting to change the line for that also to black. Okay, there we go. Now, if you click and you drag that, it's not grouped together. So if we just go back, we just got to highlight, highlight all of those, and we're going to group it together by clicking on this group button here. And there we go. Now, let's click and drag to make it smaller and let's bring it in about there all right and then all i would do is right click duplicate right click duplicate right click duplicate okay now i'm just going to bring in my design so here is one of them that i'm wanting to use let's just drag it and make it smaller and there it is there but as you can see it looks a bit wish-washy so i would recommend putting an offset around it or maybe another type of background around it um okay so all we need to do is i'll show you both ways of doing it and then you can pick whichever one you feel is better looking so now once again if you have a look even though it's a transparent background and I've said this numerous times in all my videos um, it's still gonna show up if you have an offset around this it's gonna show up I'll show you what I mean by offset there we go you see how the offset is not around the actual digital uh, image it's uh, gone around the individual box sorry the imaginary box okay so you need to do what is called you go over here and it's called a trace and cut so we're going to click onto that we're going to go to our trace and and we're going to click on trace area and we're going to trace that whole image like so all right and then we're going to take the threshold and we're going to go all the way until it is completely yellow but not very um like pixelated you want it to be just smooth around the whole area okay and then all we're going to do is you can either hit i'm going to actually do trace and detach all right so you click trace and detach and now I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it to the side and you can see over here whoopsie is the box that it used and we're just going to hit delete now let's bring that box back click onto it and let's do the offset and see what happens see how the offset now is just around the image and not around the um, the transparent box okay and then we're going to change that to 0 0.080 now you can obviously change that to whatever number you want I quite like it to be a little bit thick and then I'm going to make the lines also white and there we go and then I'm going to group that together all right and let's bring you in and you see how much nicer that looks when it's got a bit of a background on it okay now the other thing we can do is we can make like a um, we'll do this over here so I'm going to go from here to say about there okay and then I might change this Let's change this color to say this pretty little blue, okay? And that's actually on the line style. Let's go over here and let's change that to blue. Now, all I'm going to do is click that and I'm going to send it backwards. So bring, um, send backward. All right. Okay, so what you can do is click onto this and put it in there, like something like that. And you can make, I don't know, like little bee thing so it's like almost like the bee the bee has buzzed off so let's just bring that to the front uh, bring to the front and let's just go like that you can have something maybe like that uh, all right and then you can have this little dude here and you can have him almost like buzzing let's bring to the front You know something like that but that needs to be all set too because it is a um, a bit wish-washy all right we can almost maybe get a different type of um, clip on if you want to but you kind of get the idea of what I'm going with um, so you can pretty much do anything you want like you can add a picture of your your child and by doing that all you need to do is to you know um, let's just say like a square like that okay um all right and then i am just going to bring in so i'll just click onto it and i'm just going to bring in um, a picture of my son because that's what i have in front of me and let's just do this one here 
okay and there we go and then you can hit off it and you can just turn it around by doing that you know and then your border box could be like um, so let's just make the outline let's make the outline say white okay and I want to make the thickness of it fairly thick okay so it's similar to doing like an offset all right and then on top of that no I think I'm happy with that so you can almost do something like that and let's just drag that down and you can put him in there and whatever I mean the, the creativity is endless okay but I just wanted to pretty much show you how you can use the template itself now all I need to do is to if I'm happy with everything I'm just going to group everything together now I apologize for the noise behind me I've got a fan going and it makes a very loud noise so I apologize so all I'm going to do is group everything together like that there so that nothing moves away see how it's all put together and all I'm going to do then is okay all I'm gonna do is go file print okay but I'm gonna print it as a PDF okay so what that does is it pretty much saves my design as a PDF file now let's just put there I'm just saving it on my desktop and I'm just gonna put Sun um, sunshine or whatever I don't know okay so now this is great for somebody that is wanting to sell these type of designs okay so you would save it as a PDF and once it's uploaded I'll show you exactly how it looks just give it one second all right and let's go in once it's done its business all right and there it is there now there are a few things that I probably would have tweaked and that is obviously making sure that I completely covered it over there but that is how you do it and then you can just print that out and cut it out so you don't even need a the cutting machine for this um, you can pretty much just cut it by hand but okay so that's pretty much how you use my my template to make your sun labels now this I wouldn't recommend cutting it with your cutting machine only because it won't pick it up okay so then I would suggest a SVG file which I can definitely add to the um, the folder at a later stage um, if people are interested in having a SVG file as your um, as a template too okay but other than that that's pretty much how you make a Capri Sun label in Silhouette Studio so I hope you guys found this video helpful so please feel free to like share subscribe and send me any comments of um, any questions that you might have or anything else that you would like to see in the future. I've got lots of fun things happening in 2019 with my YouTube channel. So I look forward to sharing all of that with you. But other than that, stay tuned guys and I will see you in the next video. Take care.